Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Sorry I haven't been doing stuff in a while, but I was hoping that by now we'd be at our own place. As you can see, we're not. So we have decided to grab the bull by the horns as it were. I think that's the proper phrasing. And we are headed into the area where we want to move for an entire five days for the sole purpose of looking at apartments. We've got four appointments at this point. We may be making more. And in order to facilitate that, we're turning into something of a traveling circus. Uh, due to certain circumstances, we're going to be bringing my little dog with us. And that means not only packing for ourselves for five days, but also for her. And on top of that, we cannot afford to go out to eat every night. So. I did a ton of meal prep yesterday, so we'll be taking, I would say, 90% of our food with us from home, which means two coolers, and hopefully everything fits in the mini fridge. If it does not, we will be making frequent visits to the ice machine. Oh boy. Hey Welcome back. We've hit the road early. We crawled out of uh, our neighborhood and onto the highway. and. Now we're stopped on an auto zone to see if we can get some tire chains and ooh ow. Sorry, I don't feel good. Um some tire chains and then gas and then we are heading over the mountains. This poor doggy is so nervous. She's been panting the whole time. It used to be she loved road trips, but now she's just a nervous Nelly. Or a nervous Nolly, huh? Are you a nervous Nolly? Poor baby girl, it's okay. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news is we made it over the pass fine, but bad news is by the time we got to uh, the end of the, well, easy, it's okay, it's okay. Highway six, which is in a place called Spanish Fork, our transmission started to burn out. So, well not burn out, but it would just, it was not responding. So we pulled into a parking lot and got some more transmission fluid. Turns out it was completely dry. So my husband's refilling that right now. We're hoping that works and hoping we did not burn out the transmission. If we did, we're gonna have to call a tow truck. And already this is turning out to be an extremely expensive day. So I'll update you guys later. We've got a transmission leak. We made it a mile to an auto parts store and now it's grinding again and making bad sounds with a bad smell and this may be TMI but I need a bathroom like nobody's business and I don't see one. Oh gosh. We might have to get towed out of here. Good. Ow, it hurts. Okay, so update. Um, he's not going to be able to find the leak without taking the car apart. <sighs> So, yeah, in case you didn't know, there's a transmission leak, and my husband's not going to be able to find the leak unless he takes the car apart. We are not prepared to do that. We didn't have the stuff, so we limped, literally, barely made it here, across the street from an auto parts store to a car rental place. So, we're going to see if we can rent a car, get to the hotel, settle in, have a good night's sleep, and then figure out what to do over the next couple of days, because... Yeah, <laughs> and even though I took my brand new anti-anxiety medicine, I feel myself maybe the slightest bit calmer, but I'm also, I also feel extremely fragile right now, like I can cry at the drop of a hat. So, yeah, this little girl, one of the few things is keeping me sane. So, yeah, I just want to get to the hotel and check in. I'm so really, I'm really, really tired. I don't even know what time it is because the batteries on both my tablet and my phone are dead. So I don't even know what time it is. So we're going to need to, oh Lord, this does not feel good. I'm a little nauseous right now because of nerves. So I hope this works and I hope we still have money left for an apartment deposit. So this trip wasn't in vain. Oh, I just wish somebody would help us. Morning guys, so long story short, we got a hotel in Provo. Thankfully we did not have to spend the night in the car. Um, we had a restful night, but uh, turns out this hotel room is not as nice as we thought because we tried to 
flushed the toilet this morning and it overflowed. This is really gross. All the way into the sink area. So, yeah. And now the, uh, the sink is slow draining, so Murphy's just running wild with us right now. Hopefully we can get maintenance down here and fix it or maybe switch rooms. So that's an update of what's going on with the clumsy Jedi and company. Meanwhile, she's still an angel. Aren't you? All right. See you guys later and check in when we have some news. But today we're going to have to uh, cancel appointments to look at housing. More's the pity. And see if we can get the car fixed. So see you later. Hey, guys. I know I haven't uploaded any of this later. I haven't uploaded any of this yet, but that's because I don't want my vlogs to have that much of a cliffhanger ending. Story is, in case you missed it, um, when we came over the mountain to look at apartments, ironically enough, our transmission in my husband's SUV basically died just as we were coming out of the mountains. And after several hours trying to get a rental, which we can't do right now, we have to get a truck and it towed us to a motel that's about 30 miles south of where we were originally going to go. So we've been camped out here for the last uh, two and a half days. And the good news is we're all fine. The bad news is we just got a call back from the mechanic. It is a major, major transmission problem. In layman's terms, it's basically starting to fall apart. So what they're gonna do is they're going to clean up the system as much as they can and refill the fluid. But after that, it's anyone's guess how long it's going to last. It could be a week, a month, a year. It's basically unpredictable and something of, uh, it's basically, the car's basically on borrowed time. Anyway, so what we're, at this point we have two options once we get the car back. The first one is to drive back to my parents' place where all of our stuff is and then try and find something, a replacement vehicle there. Or the other option is to, if it is not going to make it over the mountains, honestly, I don't know if I trust it, we stay here in the area, continue on to our destination, which is the uh, Salt Lake Valley. And if we can possibly afford it, find a long-term stay in a hotel until we can get an apartment. So that way at least he can start his job. So that's what's going on. We may be living, the good news is we're all fine and there's not gonna be any problems getting food at least. We have a lot of resources that we can go to. So that's the story. Okay guys, we have made it to our next destination, an extended stay hotel. Uh, the only bad thing is, I don't know if we can check in early, and it is really snowing out there. <laughs> it's not sticking because it's a little too warm for that, but still, it's, it is snowing and blowing. Big flakes. Both the snow and the people on the road. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's going on. If we can check in early, then yay. If not... We're probably going to eat lunch because I am starving. Mm -hmm. And this little baby. Oh, she misses daddy. You miss daddy, huh? He's coming back. Don't worry, honey. He's coming back. I know, honey. It's all right. She's been whining. Poor baby, but you're a trooper. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. She's going to make more friends here. She already made friends where she was last, so yay.